anyways, so G Money, DJ Nintendo, going for the, oh my god, going for the Mark yeah, Ditto. Yeah, they, they are legit Marth Dittoing now. Wow. I, I guess today is the day of Marth. I've been playing, seeing so many Marths today. This makes me so happy, man. Yeah, like last week, uh, or last Nebulous, like it was all about Falco. And yeah. That's how it usually goes, because there's so many Falcos here. Now, so this is going to be interesting because these two guys play Marth stylistically. Like, well, as far as we know, for DJ. Um, just because we've only seen a simple set of his yeah. Marth. But these two guys play Marth very stylistically differently. G Money is going to be searching for the Nairs. He's going to be playing a little bit more on the aggressive side. Whereas DJ is just going to be patient. He's going to actually go for a getup attack. Like, that's the kind of player that he is. He's going to wait you out. And look at that. They're just the stare down. But I think, what's, I think what G Money has going for him right now, though, is a stronger combo game with Marth. Mm -hmm. And I also think, you know, no disrespect to DJ Nintendo, but I think DJ, my bad, that G just has a better understanding of the character. Yeah. Having mained him for several years. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, look at that. Like, he's throwing in the little touches, like the nair off the ledge, like the falling neutral B, which is a really good move. You know, you maintain your momentum, but also you have a wide area of coverage. You know, he really just understands the character a lot better than DJ does. Yeah. Now, obviously, you know, both of these guys understand the matchup, but I think it really is just going to come down to G having more experience with the character and thus the matchup. But even still, look at DJ Nintendo go. DJ really has this combo game. Oh, my God. And <laughs> that was, I think, honestly, that was just an honest mistake out of DJ. Yeah. I think he didn't expect... Honestly, I think he didn't realize that G had his double jump still. Nah. Because, like, you would not go for that if you knew that they had a double jump and they could just literally walk right around it. Yeah. So, you know, we're just going to chalk that up to, again, DJ's relative inexperience in the matchup. As far as we know. Yeah. I don't know, dude. Maybe, maybe like, in 2004, DJ had a mean Marth. <laughs> we don't know, man. I mean, Armada started as a Marth player, so I I'm sure everyone at some point went through a Marth phase. Well, I think Marth is actually a really great character for anyone to play. And, oh, yeah. and Zoso's right here, and me and Zoso have talked about it. Marth is just a character who has so many... Like, you just need to understand fundamentals to play him. And so if you're working on your neutral game, or just building your fundamentals, or just understanding movement better, Marth is such a good character to play because all those are essential to playing him because he doesn't have any, like, hyper 20xx tech skill, you know... He doesn't have any, like, godlike move. You just need to play, be a solid all-around player. Yeah. So, yeah, interestingly Martin. enough, DJ has started to figure out some of the tricks that G-Money is using. Oh, yeah. And he's using them himself. I mean, look at this. Pretty much dead even. This is very interesting. Going for the grab. Now, oh... Again with the with the falling neutral with the falling B. neutral B, which is interesting because it is effective and it is a safer option than falling and go that was really interesting. Now I understand where G was coming from, so basically what G was probably trying to do, this is just my opinion. I think that G was going to go for two dancing blades and then fast fall right to the ledge. Yeah. Because at that point, DJ probably should have committed to like a fair, like a full hop fair. And then D and then G would just immediately fast fall through, go to the ledge, and then probably do a nair off the ledge. But I mean, he just botched it, or either, or maybe he was planning something. We don't know. G is an interesting man. Yeah. You know, life is a strange mystical thing, and sometimes you just go out like a buster. <laughs> In the immortal words of Nika. Anyways, so DJ really coming back right now, like. For a while, this was looking like it was G's, but after that Dancing Blade gaff, like... Yeah, GJ's just been in control since then, and this could be the... Nope. Oh, wow. So that's one of those interesting things with Marth. Marth's weight and size just do interesting things on the ledge. And there's some neat things that you can do. So the one thing that I do have to criticize about G's play is his recovery from the ledge. He's always going for the immediate nair. Yeah. I mean, like, he's kind of... It's interesting in that, I mean, it's working for him because he knows the timing and he knows how to wait it out. But, like, you contrast that with the moon who varies it up so often. And he still has the double jump. Oh, uh, there we go. DJ gets it. That was a close game one. That was a really well-played Mark Ditto. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, like, we were talking about earlier that Mark Ditto's can be so frustrating, but also so really entertaining to watch. Oh, yeah. So now, oh, wow. 
All right, run oh, back. Oh, wow. Salty run back and Stengas Marth. I honestly expected G might have switched to Falco for this. He might have switched Falco and gone to maybe Yoshi's, honestly. I think it's about pride at this point. <laughs> I don't know if it's about pride. I think G's just kind of, I mean, obviously with Salty run backs, there always is that element of pride and like, I could have done it. Yeah. But I feel, oh, King there Combo. There it is. Oh, Oh wow, that was that was actually a little bit close. G was really kind of throwing the needle on that recovery. Yeah, but I feel like G is just kind of going like, you know what? I probably have like a 65-35 of winning Mark Dittos against DJ right now. So like, as much as it's about pride, I think it's also just about match experience yeah. and just straight statistics. And <laughs> That Although was, that was a very dumb that, roll. Yeah, that was that was two rolls in a row that was, that right was, into a grab. That was a pretty newbie roll. Come on, G uh, or DJ. Now G actually did really, really smartly place that air dodge. He knew exactly what to do. And oh wow, the falling uh, fair into a nair. Yeah, that was smart. It's an interesting setup because really, I mean, like you. You botch that fair, and you can get yeah. comboed right away. Oh, that was great with the rising counter. Really interesting play out of G. And I mean, like, this is one of those things that I love when you see a player who has, you know, experience with another character. There we go. There's the double jump. He's just playing it safe. You have a player with experience with another character, and they bring some of those sensibilities into their other character. There we go again. Oh, oh my god. god. G really using that falling neutral B so well. She knows exactly how to place and where to time it. G Money yeah. saying, I'm sorry, DJ. You have a Marth? Let me show you how Marth works. Exactly. Oh. Uh, no four stocks, but I mean, I don't think uh, he doesn't need it. Yeah. He, he made his point. So G. Oh. Wow, G with the double down tilt. Down tilt is such a good move. Oh, and not just in the ditto, but probably one of Marth's best moves. Yeah, and if for no other reason than because it's so quick and there's so and because of all that ending lag, you can do almost anything out of it. Oh, DJ closing it up. I mean, G money closing it up. DJ's in the drop zone. That was nice. That was wonderfully played from G Money. Salty run back at its finest. He understands. He said, I can beat you. I know I can beat you. And he gets that. He just gets it. Okay. And Battlefield for game three. All, All right. right. Mark Ditto. Classic tri state. Go to Battlefield. One in doubt, Battlefield. Honestly, I feel like if it were up to tri state, Battlefield would be the only legal stage in the game. Oh, absolutely. Let's be honest. So, anyways, so. See, this is the thing that DJ is slowly figuring out. He just needs to get G onto the edge and then just hang back and wait for the down tilt because G is going to go for the narrow off the stage every single time. And, I mean, like, obviously G can just play it in a way that he doesn't get onto the edge, but that's, like, Isaiah's famous, you know, just don't get hit. It sounds really easy in principle, and it is doable, but at the same time, like, you have to have a plan B because going to the edge or getting hit is almost inevitable. Oh, absolutely. Now, at the same time, though, G, smooth platform movement, man. This is where that Falco is almost coming in, just really working the platforms yeah. so well. Interesting decision for the immediate F smash. And that was like a lightly charged F smash. Also, oh, okay. almost, oh, oh, wow. Wow. G kind of taking the leaf out of the moon's book, not entirely. He didn't go for, you know, the dare off the ledge, but close to it. You yeah. know, that short hop dare, very close to the ledge. He knows exactly what he needs to do. Wow. G Money just covering every option right now. Oh, yeah. Come on, DJ. Respect the up air. Getting air wobbled right now. This might actually be Falcon. We don't know. Oh, like, great read from... Like if I if I had to give a tip to anyone who asked like how do I play against Marth like number one tip respect the up air because if up you don't you're so gonna good. get you're gonna get comboed relentlessly because the thing about the up air is that it's a relatively fast move it will always give you the setup for something out of it be it another up air which is the most common but even if you decide not to go for another up air. You can just vary up your jump timing and get a nair. You can even go for a dare. Yeah, I mean, and the right situation, up air leads to tippered forward smash. It leads to grabs. 
I mean, uh, I take a page out of Fox's book all the time and go for the, whoa, the phantom hit on that forward smash. The phantom hit, and did you notice G's immediately rushed counter that he pulled out? Yeah. That was really interesting. G is playing this a little, not oddly, but just differently. You know, he's going for those up B out of shields. He's going for a lot of Dancing Blade play relatively. Yeah. I mean, like, we're not at Ken levels of Dancing Blade play. No, but we are definitely at the point where G-Money is using just about every option he can to get inside of mm. DJ Nintendo's head. Yeah. The oh, great forward smash. Oh, yeah. The continual fall in neutral B is really, really well done. G is just... I think that this is... He's playing against... He's using DJ's lack of experience. There we go, the rising counter. He's using DJ's lack of experience in the matchup to DJ's detriment. He's really just saying, okay, you understand standard Marth Ditto plays, but how about that wonky shit that we used to do back in the day? Right. How about that weird stuff that you play against your Marth buddies for, you know, like, when you've been playing for three hours and you get bored and you decide to mix it up? Yeah. Like, that's what G is going for. Yo, Jesse, G-Money over DJ Nintendo.